I did a crack and watch and it's a little bit different than the other ones I've done. I wanted it to kind of have like a fancy look to it. So hopefully we accomplish that. So nice man. Did I push that back? I must have. I didn't give myself really any leeway there and I have don't have much fingernails, so I couldn't pull that down. All right, so we've got a brass Kraken dial with a kind of burgundy background to it. And I thought, well, that looks awesome. When can I ever use that dial? And I have had this dial for probably a year. And I thought, you know what? Let's do a burgundy suede strap because this would go together nicely. The sun is such in a weird spot. So there you can see. There you can see that it matches, right? <laughs> but in here, you almost can't even tell if that's burgundy in that background. So <clears throat> did it on a silver brushed case. I was going to do like a, a bronzed case or brass case, but it just... It didn't actually look right. It was just too much. It was too much going on there. So uh, I thought, you know what? Silver is going to look nice because it's going to have a silver case back on it. I did a, uh, uh, I did a brass rotor in there. Um, <clears throat> so I thought, well, this brown will nicely tie in. It'll look good with brown. Uh, browns go well with brass. So kept it with the stainless steel buckle to go with the case. And then, um, just to continue with kind of tying things in, whenever I uh, threw on this uh, kind of a fancier bezel, most of the bezels I use are more of a coin bezel, um, grabbed that, matched it in silver there, threw in a Mariner uh, insert. These are no longer uh, produced. I did buy some a little bit in bulk just to make sure I'd have one, but... It is essentially like a brassy gold um, bezel insert, diver style, with all black accents. I was like, well, I don't have any black. But they don't sell it really any other way. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw on a black. I had a black anchor crown left. So I thought, I'll throw that on. And uh, blah, blah, blah. I owe somebody money. They just sent me a, a message that blocked out half my screen on me. So, uh... <clears throat> That's the build. Um, stainless steel movement holder in there. As I said, low profile exhibition case back. Um, the uh, brass rotor in there. Anchor engraved black uh, Cerakoted clasp. And then this really super, super, super comfy. The backside's black as well. So super, 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 super comfy suede strap so um i gotta get good pictures of this i have i've only taken my light box pictures of it but last night i was like man that thing looks fire so um not sure who it's going to go to but it's going to be available in the waffle i do here a little bit later uh as one of the four options um so oh and i did a favinov paddle gold handset um his stuff's a little expensive Sometimes it gets to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so I hadn't been like really relying on his hands a lot. So I've had these sitting back for a long time. Uh, I don't do too many gold hands, but I thought, you know what? I've had this style for a while. I've had those hands for a while. Uh, maybe it's meant to be. So, um, so that's the build. Um, Got the bezel on decently tight. You can turn it left, you can turn it right. These are held on with a tension ring. Um, I just wrap it a bit with uh, dental floss before I snap it on to give it some extra hold uh, because it's not a clickable set bezel. And then this is an automatic mechanical. So you can wear it, you can wind it, you can put it in a watch winder. Um, but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it before you put it on. Um, your sm light movements in the beginning, if, if you're not moving crazy, you're not going to keep time. You're going to, it's not going to start 
keeping time for a minute or two. So pre-wind it just a little bit before you put it on, how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking, okay? At that point, you can wind, and a wind is a turn away from you. Turning back towards you doesn't do anything, but if you go back and forth, it keeps your fingers spacing nicely, and it doesn't hurt it to go backwards. So you can do this for four or five seconds. You will keep time throughout the day. So if you did that, and then you pulled it out and set the time, you'd be fine. But if you want to make sure it's good in the next morning or something like that, or you're driving or you're going to be at a desk, you can just keep winding. You can't overwind it. If you wind this for 20 plus seconds, you're going to max out your 31 hour plus power reserve on it. But whenever you feel comfortable with it, pull it to the one and only click. You can now set your time. It's not a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. You're also going to notice you got a wobble crown. It's going to deflect lateral pressure from going into the stem, into the movement by rolling with it. Um, if you don't like it, just pull it straight back. You won't have any of that pressure going either direction. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 11.43 a.m. 11.43 a.m. Push it back over when you're good. And then thread it down. And that's it. That's the build. So whomever wants a classy crack and build, boom, there it is. As with every build, you're going to get matching beads. And these are also um, fancy and go with it nicely. Throwing them into the sun where they sparkle differently. But uh, as with every build, you get a bunch of stuff with it, but you're going to get a, oh, that's not the right box. You're not going to get that box. Apparently I put the wrong box up there. And I did this super late last night. So what box will you get? You'll probably get a brown Kraken box or a gray Kraken box. I'm not sure. I actually might have to look and see which one you get. Um, actually, you know, I know I've got some, uh, this is the thing that I do when I go on tangent top to the side of things. But I just wanted to confirm. <clears throat> yeah, I can just swap out the lid on the box. Because I've got one right here. So, you get it in that box. But with that lid on there, I just gotta re tap it. Uh, re screw it in. It's already been tapped. Um, so, as with every build, it comes with wash cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts. Non toxic, non streaking, non residue some weather conditioner to keep this strap perfectly soft. If you ever feel it's getting hard, I would apply it on the backside in order to get your skin. The suede will probably be just fine. Um, put it on, let it soak in, remove any excess, use it sparingly. There's a lot in there. It will, you don't need to put that much on. And then lastly, some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. It's like a poly watch. This is an acrylic glass. You can scratch it. If you do, put a tiny bit on it, buff against it, go in the opposite direction of that scratch, and then buff it with your included microfiber. And about 20 seconds later, that should be completely gone. Use it sparingly because it's only going to fill that scratch, and the rest is going to soak into your and get pushed all around the, the dial. So um, that's it. So um, someone's going to get a sweet watch. Um, and it could be you. So uh, thank you for watching. If you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I do them all the time. Thanks, guys.